Hi there! Looks like you've got an accounting coming due. This video is a supplemental video which explains how to complete the VA Form 21P-4718A, Certificate of Balance on Deposit and Authorization to Disclose Financial Records. For more information on the other steps in the accounting process, see our other videos before you begin your accounting, which discusses the steps you should take to prepare for your accounting, and how to complete your accounting parts 1 and 2, which discuss how to complete the VA Form 21P-4706B and finalize all accounting actions. Only certain fiduciaries are required to complete the form we'll be talking about in this video, the VA Form 21P-4718A. If you are required to complete this form, your fiduciary hub will specifically request it. Let's get started. If you are required to submit the VA Form 21P-4718A, part of the form will be completed by you and part of the form will be completed by the financial institution where VA funds are deposited. To start, you'll complete part of the form with your name in Block 1, the beneficiary's name in Block 2, and the VA file number in Block 3. Let's look at Block 5. Data in Item 6 was accurate as of. This should be a date. This date should be the end date of the accounting period, not the date the form is completed. Next, you'll need to go to the financial institution where the VA funds are deposited and have the bank complete their portion of the VA Form 21P-4718A with all bank accounts and balances. If the funds are in multiple banks, you'll need to complete multiple forms. You can find additional copies of this form at our website, here. The bank teller should then complete this section with the type of account, in this case, a checking account, the account number, depositor account title, and the balance of the account. If this is an account which collects interest, the bank should also complete this section. Make sure the bank stamps this form with their bank stamp. Finally, it's time for you to sign here at the bottom of the form. After you've gathered all bank statements, other pertinent information, and the completed VA Form 21P-4718A, the next step is to complete your accounting and submit it to the Fiduciary Hub. For more instructions on how to do that, check out our videos called Completing Your Accounting Parts 1 and 2. You can find both videos at the website here. If you have questions, feel free to check out more information at benefits.va.gov forward slash fiduciary or call your fiduciary hub at 1-888-407-0144. We strive to provide you with outstanding service and assistance. As always, we thank our veterans for their service and their survivors for their sacrifice. We are proud to be serving you here at the Department of Veterans Affairs. Remember to check your letter. Your accounting should be coming due soon. Thanks for watching.